What is up? How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's doing all right in this new year in this little cold stretch that we got going on. Um, today's video is one that I had never seen and honestly one that I really never wanted to see, but I felt the need to watch it because I, I finished season four of Cobra Kai. I thought there may be a chance that the writers of uh, the show are going to possibly have some characters from the next Karate Kid in there. So I wanted to at least give it the time so that I could, you know, understand if they do make an appearance, you know, the, the background story of them and, and the relevance of them. So I figured I'd give this movie a shot and check it out. And I got to say, I really tried to like it, but it just was not very good. There's not much that I can say that I liked about it overall. It just felt they were trying to do something different and it just didn't work. With that being said, I'm going to try to go over the pros and the cons of this movie. And but we are going to start out with the pros. One, we get Mr. Miyagi, Pat Morita back. To me, he's really the main reason why you would watch this or even continue to watch this. He's always great. Everything about Mr. Miyagi, he's a character that you just you want to watch and you want to get more dialogue from because he just he's very special and he's very unique. He's not like any other character that we've seen in cinema. Two, I thought the music was okay. It it kind of took a different um, sound and turn than the first three Karate Kids, and I'm glad that they didn't try to recycle and reuse any of the sound from that. Really the only song that they kind of modified and, and did some slower versions of it and, you know, kind of took that, the score approach to it is the, the moment of truth. And I thought that was pretty good. I actually liked that. The third thing, I actually enjoyed the character of Eric. He was the one of the few positives I can say as far as a character standpoint. The Buddhist monastery that Miyagi takes Julie to, I, I enjoyed that part because it kind of took it to a different place and we get to see a little bit more of um, a depth and kind of more sacred background of where, you know, kind of Miyagi's spiritual nature and, and how he is, who he is and why he is the way he is kind of paints a picture to, you know, how this guy became the most peaceful person. I did enjoy the monks. They were funny. The bowling scene, uh, you know, just seeing monks in a bowling alley is pretty funny. And the guys that play them, but it wasn't like a super positive. It was like, I'm, I'm saying positives. I'm grasping for straws here with this movie to try to salvage some, some sense of good out of it. But so now the, the cons, the things that I did not like, um, the story I, I didn't like everything about it was not a fan of Julie Pierce. I didn't feel like Hillary Swank was the right actor for this. Didn't feel natural. I felt like I was watching Hillary Swank try to portray a character and it felt forced and how they put in the whole badass and how she's against the grain and how she's anti-establishment. and It just didn't work for me. Did not enjoy Ned, Ned Randall. He's just a total doucher. The whole alpha elite team who essentially was a bunch of hall monitors that were trained by an ex-military guy and their whole job was to stop people from littering in the hallway or running in the hallway or getting to class on time. They really didn't have much purpose and the whole concept of that to me was stupid. And the the fact that the leader, Colonel Dugan, you know, took this so serious and basically told them if they throw a wrapper on the floor, you make him eat it or something like that. It just it was really, really dumb. I felt like the dynamic between Julie Pierce and Miyagi was nowhere close to Daniel. And I know you, there's no way that there's ever going to be another character that you could substitute out to even try to recreate that with. But it really did not. It really felt forced with Julie Pierce and Miyagi. The whole premise of the getting bullied by the hall monitors to me was just stupid. I had a really hard time sitting through this. And like I said, the only reason I wanted to sit through this 
was so I could at least kind of give it an honest opinion and know who is who and, you know, what their story was in the event that Cobra Kai season five or six does bring some characters to return. Now, one thing I will say that's kind of a kind of a pro, but not really. I don't, I don't know. They did have Michael Ironside. I actually like him as an actor. I think he's he's very good in his role as a bad guy. You know, he's most famous. He's most famous for his role in Top Gun as Jester. So he fits the bill of that, you know, that heel character for, you know, the the bad the bad guys. So I think that works, but just the premise of why he was doing what he was doing to have them trained to be hall monitors. It was really stupid. I will not watch this movie again. I don't really think that this movie ever needed to be made. And this is definitely not how I want to remember the Karate Kid and and Pat Morita and Mr. Miyagi. So watch the first three Karate Kids. Watch Cobra Kai. Skip this one. Skip this one. Skip this one. The fight scenes in the movie were terrible. The whole prom thing, you know, with the guys coming down on bungee ropes or bungee cords. Stupid. And then the finale, they blow up that beautiful car. Ned is a total pushover. The sequence with Julie is like 30 seconds and she kicks the shit out of him. Colonel Dugan can't fight. He gets his ass kicked in like 30 seconds. He doesn't even, he's not even a credible threat to Miyagi. I wish the movie never would have been made. It's by far the worst of the ones in the Karate Kid realm. The remake was far superior to this. You know, I would... I would watch the remake 10 times over this one. That's how how bad I think this movie is. Don't waste your time. With that being said, thanks for checking out the video and the channel. If you like the video or you like the channel, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think about this movie. Um, you know, comments, things like that. And everybody, take care. Have a good day.